Hello YouTube, this is going to be a brief review on the Smart Carry Holster System, as well as the philosophy behind why it is that I personally use the Smart Carry Holster System. Uh, with that being said, let's get into it. So, these Smart Carry Holsters, if you've been in the concealed carry community long enough, you've seen these. Essentially, these are like a pair of underwear slash belt that you take, you put it on, this goes dangled in front of your crotch area. We'll get into that more in a minute. You take this Velcro band, Velcro catch in the end, you loop it around your hips through this section here, and you wear it sort of like a belt slash pair of underwear, and your pants go over it. When you wear this properly with the properly sized firearm, this thing absolutely disappears. Um, if you ask, one of your buddies who's also into carrying, whether or not they can find this on you, tell them that you're carrying a firearm, ask them to see if they can spot it. Uh, nine times out of ten, uh, they can't find it on you. This thing is, an ex is a form of extremely deep concealment. Um, very, very well concealed. The drawback to that is that because it's underneath your belt line, you have to defeat your belt line in order to get to your firearm and draw your firearm. Because of that, it is not the fastest method of drawing. Okay, let's be very, very clear about that. This is not the fastest method of draw. And Smart Carry on their website is very open about that. They make no attempt at hiding that. Uh, the selling point here, the main reason that, well, there are two big reasons why this holstering system is so prevalent in certain portions of the carry community. And the first selling point is that is it is extremely good at concealing a firearm, okay? This holster and a pocket holster for the Sig Sauer P365 are the only means of carrying in a business suit that I have been able to find, okay? Again, this holster and a pocket carry holster for this gun are the only ways that I have been able to actually find a way to carry this firearm in a business in a tailored business suit to work. Okay. <clears throat> so the fact that it conceals so well underneath your belt line, that's a big selling point. One of the reasons why that sticks out to so many people, why so many people place a premium on concealing their firearm really, really well, is because a lot of people are actually carrying their firearms in places where it's not necessarily illegal to carry there. They're fully legally authorized to carry their firearm in their place of work, or business, or worship. But if they were to be discovered that they were carrying a firearm in that place... It could potentially be a career killer due to people's viewpoints and firearms in those places. So when people, when you have a person or a demographic of people that still want to be able to carry their firearm, but concealment is at an absolute premium, this is an outstanding solution to that. Again, not as quick on the draw as a lot of other holstering systems out there, but something that is going to keep your firearm safe, something that is going to keep your firearm secure, and something that is going to allow you to deeply conceal your firearm in a place where you want to make absolutely certain that no one is aware of the fact that you are carrying a firearm. Um, that's one of the big selling points for me in why I choose to carry this on a daily basis. So again, <clears throat> that's the big reason why these holsters are so popular. But again, if you're going to purchase this type of holster, or you're interested in care in purchasing this type of holster, just understand that, that it has what you're getting in terms of its ability to be concealed, you're sacrificing in the speed of the draw. So just understand that, as long as you train on a regular basis, in a safe manner, drawing this firearm from different positions... As long as you're going to invest the time necessary into training with this holstering system, 
And as long as you understand that limitation of the fact that it's going to be a slightly slower draw, then yes, I would whole wholeheartedly recommend this whole string system. Now, <clears throat> with that, I've seen a lot of comments on other YouTube videos about how people who have not actually tried this particular whole string system are saying that it's unsafe. And the main reason that they're saying that it's unsafe is because cloth could not possibly successfully protect the trigger from being actuated when you're wearing it. Well, to test that theory out, again, I've gone and safety checked all of these firearms prior to the shooting of this video. So, <clears throat> this firearm is already... <clears throat> again, it's been safety checked. Let's see if we can actually pull the trigger through this fabric. Again, you'll hear a click if you can. Okay, guys, this is me actually trying to pull the trigger through this cloth. Smart Carry makes their holster out of an outstanding quality material. It's some type of Cordura nylon type deal. Okay, as you can see, I'm actually trying to pull the trigger through all of this, and I can't. Now, <clears throat> there are a lot of other copycat, imitation, cheapy holster versions of this on Amazon and all over the place on the internet. I would be concerned about the safety of, of those things because anytime you have copycat companies that are trying to cut corners, cut costs, they're always going to produce their products of a lesser value. Okay, so with that, Smart Carry does an excellent job of creating these holsters with a very good material, very well designed, and specifically tailored to the dimensions of your firearm so that it's not possible for you to pull that trigger through the fabric. Okay, That's another big selling point to this firearm company is that they, when you order this, you can act, you're actually going through the process of giving them your hip size, your waist size measurements, you're giving them the actual firearm model that you're using, and you're also letting them know if the firearm is equipped with a light or a laser, and if so, what type. What they're going to do is they're going to actually tailor this holstering system specifically to your firearm. So in this case, I have the ability to get a holster for my six hour P365 equipped with a Streamlight TLR6 spare 15 round magazine, all for about $55. And again, it is an excellent holster system. You can deeply conceal this firearm. You can wear this firearm in a business suit. You can wear it in shorts and a t-shirt. You can wear it in your swim trunks to the beach, if that's your thing. It is the most versatile holstering system I have ever used. You don't require an actual outside thick leather belt to hold this. This provides plenty of support. I've gone running with this holster on. It is absolutely outstanding. And again, so affordable too. You're getting a very quality piece of Cordura nylon. A completely custom holster fit for about $55. So you can get a holster tailored to this firearm of this size, which I recommend if you're going to be looking for something that uh, conceals rather well, even in a business suit. Or you can get a custom-made holster for something even larger like this. So the Smith & Wesson SD9VE, equipped with a Streamlight TLR8. So again, it fits in there perfectly. You're not able to actuate the trigger. Another critique I hear about these holsters is that uh, you're pointing a firearm directly at your junk area. Uh, simply not true, okay? If you actually ever wear this thing, what you're going to realize is that this sort of goes on top of that area and or to the left or the right. So there's never actually a muzzle of a firearm pointed immediately at that sensitive area that people are always referencing. 
Uh, with that being said, that's the same critique that people use for appendix inside the waistband carry, and it's simply a flawed argument. But to each their own. If you're not comfortable with this type of holster system, then of course I don't recommend it. But if this is something that you're even considering, understand that the quality is outstanding. You are getting a holstering system that is extremely versatile. You can wear it casually with shorts and a t-shirt. Wear it with a business suit. Uh, this company will actually go and tailor fit this whole holster specifically to your firearm and your accessories for that firearm. So you can have a little optic here. You could have you know, your stream light. You can have a much larger firearm with a much larger light. And this company will even create a holster for the same price, around $55, for something like this. Okay? That's a lot of ridiculous stuff going on right here, this light. Point being is that it's a versatile way of carrying a number of different firearms. It's very safe, contrary to a lot of criticism out there. And you can even pay to have a valuables pocket in there so you can carry some emergency cash outside of your wallet. And there are a number of reasons why you might want to do that. Say, for example, someone's uh, you get pickpocketed. You're not completely separated from your money. Okay. So, with that, if you're considering a smart carry holster, I wholeheartedly recommend it. Again, very safe, very versatile, excellent quality. I greatly enjoy them. If you're going to get a smart carry holster, just understand the limitations of the holster system. Understand that what you're getting is a, a, an extreme degree of concealability. What you're sacrificing is a little bit of time on the draw. So, with that being said, I hope you're able to make an informed decision. Take care. God bless.